A last minute settlement has been negotiated by four defendants to head off a landmark federal trial against opioid manufacturers and distributors. The deal reportedly will cost those companies a combined $260 million. The Walgreens drugstore chain still faces trial at a later date unless it joins that settlement. This case is the first to proceed of the many lawsuits filed by local governments over the opioid crisis that's killed about 400,000 Americans since 1999. Adriana Diaz is outside the federal courthouse in Cleveland. Adriana, what's the latest? News of the settlement broke just over an hour before opening statements were supposed to start. Now, this federal case in Ohio was supposed to be a litmus test for more than 2,000 other cases that are currently pending. This settlement may encourage those cases to settle as well, or they may move forward to trial depending on how the Walgreens trial goes. Either way, the nation is watching closely, including a West Virginia family that we met that has been devastated by the opioid epidemic. I feel like we have been forgotten. Juanita Harvey never thought she'd spend her retirement years raising young children. But around a decade ago, she became a mother again, twice over. I love them. They're the love of my life. I think for me, my biggest fear is what if they have to have pain medication and will it tip them over into being addicted? You don't want what happened to their mother to happen to them. And I don't. I don't. Juanita and her husband adopted their grandchildren, Emily and Jeremiah, because of their birth mother's addiction, which Juanita says started when a doctor prescribed her opioids after a car accident. Juanita told us the children were born addicted to drugs. I've lived in Beckley since I was born. I like Beckley. It's a pretty town. Yeah, it has a lot of drug problems. Really? Uh, like too many. Like worse than New York. Really? And other states. How do you know that? News. The Harveys live in Beckley, West Virginia, hard hit by the opioid epidemic. West Virginia has had more opioid-related deaths than any other state, followed by neighboring Ohio. The Harveys are now part of a class action lawsuit against opioid distributors, manufacturers, and retail pharmacies, accusing them of aggressively marketing, distributing, and overprescribing the drugs. Stephen New is the Harvey family attorney. He's closely watching the federal case involving Summit and Cuyahoga counties in Ohio. In the courtroom, uh, everyone's equal. Uh, a family like the Harvey family or a county like Cuyahoga County stands on equal footing with multinational billion dollar corporations. The numbers that are at stake are enormous. New York attorney Harlan Levy says the Ohio federal case is known as a bellwether trial, which will set the groundwork for around 2,500 similar cases across the country. But it's not the first time recently that a major corporation has been taken to task. In August, drug maker Johnson & Johnson was ordered to pay more than $572 million after being found liable in state court for helping fuel Oklahoma's opioid crisis. They're appealing that decision. This is entirely new ground. This is the reckoning for the opioid crisis. A reckoning is exactly what Juanita Harvey wants. Their lives are forever changed. Not only birth moms, grandparents, but the children. The children's lives are forever changed. Although most of the defendants in this federal case in Ohio have settled, Walgreens did not. And the judge said today that a trial date will be set for the future for Walgreens. Now, still pending are thousands of other cases being brought by local governments and Native American tribes against these drug companies, as well as the class action lawsuit on behalf of families that the Harveys are part of. We'll be watching that trial closely. Adriana, thank you very much.